to thank you all for coming here today. The probate court system in California is broken and vulnerable in facilitating corruption, and if no one wants to fix it, then I will, because there needs to be immediate and urgent reform right now. On May 7, 2014, a fraudulent ex parte application for petition of temporary and permanent conservatorship of my husband of over 34 years, Casey Kasem, was filed in Superior Court with fraudulent accusations and allegations of elder abuse. Their fraudulent and false accusations of elder abuse were always unfounded and unwarranted. They have incessantly attempted to slander my family through the press. Every single time that these false and fraudulent allegations were investigated by the authorities, it was found that my husband, Casey, was receiving the best possible medical care. Here is a copy of an LAPD business card dated May 7, 2014, which states no evidence of elder abuse. And here is also a copy of the Kitsap County Sheriff's Department business card dated May 14, 2014, which states I have checked on Casey and everything appears in order. I don't have any concerns about his well-being. They have filed several, several fraudulent reports with the Adult Protective Services in California and now in Washington out of revenge. And the APS have never found their allegations to be true or have any merit whatsoever. How many of these knowingly and malicious fraudulent reports can be filed without any repercussions by the authorities that incessantly receive them. Casey never agreed with his oldest daughters from his excuse me, Casey never agreed with his eldest daughter's choice from a prior marriage of over forty years ago involvement with the Church of Scientology and does not want her involved in his medical or estate affairs. We have the right in the United States of America, to a family vacation together, and we have the right to our own existence and privacy and dignity, which is exactly what my husband entrusted me to preserve for our family. My, my husband is very happy and comfortable in our family and has told me time and time again that he wishes to remain under my care and does not want a conservator. If the judge in these highly suspicious proceedings does not see the monetary motive behind these fraudulent petitioners, then something is seriously wrong and unjust here. The abuse of the legal process has been seriously violated and should be looked into by the appropriate judicial committee immediately without any further delay. Also. How is it that a Superior Court judge of the State of California can revive case number BP145805 that was denied with prejudice on January 14, 2014 and closed by the Honorable Judge Leslie Green who found no good cause for any of their allegations and then consolidate it with a new case number and appoint an attorney from probate volunteer panel that my husband Casey explicitly told him and stated that he does not want him to represent him in any manner whatsoever. How the judge can appoint an irresponsible and reckless person to be a conservator without doing any due diligence whatsoever and in as little as three business days is all very troubling and disturbing and should be very troubling and disturbing for all who live in California. When the media ask them, is this about money? Their reply is no. We're all very successful, etc. But only one has to investigate the address that they filed with the fraudulent petition in a Superior Court of California and the picture becomes very vivid and very clear. Contrary to what they falsely report to the media, one can see that they are all in dire financial straits. And the three people involved in this are Robert Naylor, Linda Kasem 
Myers Naylor, a woman divorced from Casey for over 40 years, and Carrie Kasem, the Scientologist. I have been married to Casey for over 34 and a half years. I have come here to visit with some of the best doctors in the world and a highly advanced medical community. We, including my host family, have the right to our privacy and dignity and liberty. And I thank you.